Hi guys, this is Hamilcar, and I am bringing you a new feature called Player Profiles. The way this is going to work is I'm going to select a player, and I'm going to make a series of videos highlighting their career, some of their accomplishments, and some of their uh, highlights and best games. Um, and it's probably going to come out to about 10 to 12 uh, video segments per player. Uh, I'm probably going to commentate uh, three or four games, and I uh, have a little introduction segment, and uh, maybe put together a little highlights video, or you know, do do something else uh, random. It is all going to be sort of uh, focused focused around an individual player, and it's going to attempt to give you sort of a rounded picture of their career and what they've accomplished. And I'm starting off with uh, Elky, who's a player from uh, way back in the day, uh, back in 2001, 2002, 2003. Um, who's interesting for a number of reasons. Uh, what's most interesting about him is that he's probably the most famous professional StarCraft player ever. Uh, not because he's a professional StarCraft player, but because uh, after leaving StarCraft, he became a professional poker player. Uh, and uh, some of you may have seen him uh, on ESPN and the World Series of Poker events and, and things of that nature. So uh, one, one of the uh, few... StarCraft uh, stars of the game who's uh, developed a reputation outside of StarCraft um, and, a, and a very interesting player in a lot of ways. Um, Elki is, is one of a very few foreign players to really achieve success in the Korean pro scene. Probably, the I, I'd say, the second most successful after uh, Gur. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Gur, a, a French-Canadian player, uh, whose uh, real name is Guillaume Patry, uh, Elke is a French, uh, f Frenchman, I guess, uh, whose real name is uh, something like Bertrand Grospellier, or I, I don't pronounce French names very well, but uh, that's a good approximation of it anyway. Um, and uh, Elke uh, was a uh, was was very successful in the early days. Uh, took uh, second in the WCG uh, back in uh, 01 or 02. Um, and uh, played for a while professionally in Korea, which is something that we don't see from foreigner players nowadays. So I think there's a uh, Idra's about the only foreigner who's over in Korea at the moment, uh, and he's uh, playing on the B team uh, for a, a pro league team, but. Uh, not really playing matches. Um, Elke in his day was uh, very successful. Uh, played about uh, 40 or 50 professional matches in the Korean scene, apart from uh, WCG matches. And uh, among other things, held wins over July, over Boxer when Boxer was in his prime, over Casey, uh, who was uh, who won a Star League uh, back in the day, and over NC Yellow. So. Uh, was a force to be reckoned with in his time, um, and uh, placed between 4th and 6th in, in some of the early Star Leagues. So what I'm going to do over the next series of videos is go through a few of his games. Uh, to, excuse me. I'm going to do a game between him and Boxer. I'm going to do a game between him and Gurr, between probably the two most successful foreigner players ever, and a couple other games. And then I'm going to put together some highlights, and I'm going to show you one of his Warcraft 3 games, which was uh, an intermediary between uh, StarCraft and poker for him. And you'll get to see how I commentate Warcraft 3, despite knowing virtually nothing about it and having played it maybe 10, 15 times in my life. In any event, uh, I don't want to keep the, make this introduction too long. I know nobody wants to just sit and listen to, uh, to me talk. So... Uh, I'll, I'll leave this here and uh, go on to games as quickly as I can. The one uh, last thing that I need to say is that uh, after I put this uh, profile together and get it online, I'm going to think about which one to do next, and I'm actually going to uh, let you guys decide that. Um, I'm going to give you a choice between a few players that I'm interested in and, and would uh, like to look more in-depth at, and... You can actually vote in the comment section of this video. Just leave a comment and say who you want to see profiled. And I'll just tally the votes and 
uh, do whichever player gets the most. Uh, I've, I've compiled a list of uh, five players that, that I think have interesting careers uh, for you to choose from. Uh, the first is Bisu, uh, who's interesting for obvious reasons, been dominant for a long time. Uh, his, his career goes back a ways, but uh, he's uh, a player who's, who's uh, still at his peak, unlike uh, the rest of these players. The second is Gurr, who would, uh, I discussed a little bit, who'd continue the theme of uh, foreigner players. The third is Nalra, who's a retired Protoss player. Uh, some of you who've gotten into StarCraft more recently may not remember him, but he was playing until not too long ago, and had a lot of success, and was known for some very, very creative Protoss play, and produced a lot of interesting games. Um, after those uh, three Protoss players who were sort of at the top of my list, I had to come up with a a Zerg and a Terran. Um, so uh, my, my uh, Zerg uh, option on this list is NC Yellow, who, as we know, is, is uh, still playing a little bit. And we've seen a couple games from him recently, which hopefully have sparked interest in his career, but he was one of the elite back in the day. And uh, for a Terran player, I picked Zealous, who also was playing up until very recently, and was one of those players like uh, Nada, who sort of was an old soldier and... Uh, it was consistently performing pretty well for, for quite a long time and uh, has a long history in the game and was sort of with it um, from the beginning through a lot of evolution. So I'll list the names of those players in the video description so you can uh, see what your choices are. But anyhow, uh, I've talked long enough, so I'll go on to the first game and uh, enjoy. Uh, this has been Hamilcar. I'll see you in game one.